Welcome to this lesson on Calc's financial functions. This will be the first in a series. I'll be starting with the payment and cumulative interest payment functions. The payment function is used to find what the payments would be on a loan with a constant interest rate. For example, a car loan. Let's say we're buying a car, and after the down payment and all the other things they try to get you for, the actual loan amount is $25,000. The interest rate is 3.9%, and the loan is being taken out for three years. So here is how I set up the table. To find out what the payments would be, type into B4 equals PMT press enter. First parameter is the interest rate. This is not the annual rate but the monthly rate so click B2 then type forward slash for division then 12. The annual rate is divided by 12 months in a year. Then a comma. Next parameter is the number of periods. The loan is for three years so the number of periods is the years times 12, since the payments are monthly. So click B3, type an asterisk for multiplication, then 12, comma. Next parameter is the present value. This is the amount of the loan, so click B1. The next parameter is optional the future value, what's left after the payments are through. In this example, there won't be anything left after payments. So this parameter is not needed. And the last parameter is the type. It's also optional. If it's left out or a zero is entered, the payments start at the end of each period, which is typically the case in these types of loans. If you paid at the beginning of each period, you would put a one here. We don't need this parameter either, so press enter. The amount is negative because it's being paid to the bank. So it's being paid out of your pocket, so it's negative to your account. Well, that's your monthly payments. Let's see how much interest is going to be paid on the loan. To do this, use the cumulative interest payment function. In B5, type equals C-U-M-I-P-M-T, press enter. First parameter is the interest rate. This is the monthly rate, so we need to divide the annual rate by 12 again. Click B2, then type forward slash 12, comma. Next is the number of periods. This is the years times 12 again. So click B3, then times... 12, comma, the present value. This is the amount of the loan, so click B1, comma. Here it wants the starting period. In this case, it would be 1, comma. Now it wants the ending period. So this is the total periods again, the number of years times 12. So click B3, then times 12, comma. Now it wants the type. In this function, it's required. The payments are at the end of each period, so type a zero here. Press enter. And there's how much interest you'll be paying on the loan. Shocking, I know. Now I'll show you how to make an amortization table which will display how much money goes to paying off the loan and how much goes to interest on each payment. Here's how I set it up. For the payment number column, I need to have the numbers incrementing from 1 to 36 since the duration of the payments are 3 years, 3 times 12 is 36. So click in A9, type a 1, Press enter. Click A9 again. Drag the fill handle down 36 rows. Now I'll start with the balance. Click D8. Type equals. Click B1. Press enter. 
In B9, I'm going to multiply the balance with the interest rate. So click B9 and type equals. Click D8, type an asterisk for multiplication. Click B2 and press Shift F4 so B2 is locked because I'm going to be copying the formula down the column. Then I need to divide B2 by 12 since it's the monthly rate I want. Forward slash for division, then 12. Press Enter. Now in C9, to find out how much is going to pay off the loan each period, I simply subtract the interest amount from the amount that I'm paying each month. Type equals, then type a minus, then click B4. The amount in B4 is a negative amount. I need it to be positive, so I put the minus sign in front of it. Also, very important, I need to lock it so it stays referring to B4 when I copy it down the column. So press Shift F4, then type a minus, click B9, press Enter. And there's how much is going to interest on the first payment and how much is going to pay off the loan. Now, in D9, to get our new balance, type equals, click D8, type a minus, then click C9. Previous payment minus the amount to pay off the loan. Press Enter. Now to finish. Drag and highlight B9 to D9, then pull the fill handle down 36 rows to get the details for each payment you make. Nice! You could change the loan amount in the APR in the table at the top to try out different variations. If you change the number of years, you may have to extend the amortization table. For example, I'll change the loan amount to 30000 and the interest rate to 4.5%. Then the number of years to 4. Now, to fix the amortization table, drag and highlight the final row, A44 to D44. Pull the fill handle down to row 56. There you are. So it's easy to adapt these tables to any monthly payment situation. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like these tutorials, and if you have any suggestions or questions, leave comments. I'll try my best to answer.